18th century parliamentary papers, opening up Britain's decision making. The House of Commons parliamentary papers are vital to the historical record of Britain, its former colonies, and the wider world. Among the richest and most detailed primary sources for the history of the past two centuries, they are fundamental to an understanding of current legislation, policy making, and the political environment. This collection unlocks over a hundred years of legislation, investigation, correspondence and reporting for researchers of all kinds, opening up a resource that was previously difficult to access and poorly indexed. It features publications released officially by the House of Commons and the House of Lords, including sessional papers and other materials such as journals and private acts. The collection records at the highest level the century that bore witness to the Industrial Revolution and the American War of Independence, as Julian Ball, the project's manager at Southampton University, explains. The, the project uh, uh, encompasses the period 1688 to 1834. 1688 was the Prince of Orange's declaration, and 1834 runs up to the uh, fire at the, uh, House of, uh, the Houses of Parliament. Uh, it covers a number of very interesting periods uh, through this time in that we have uh, many acts uh, that are available from this time that were personal acts from marriages to divorces. It's a very social material and also large government uh, uh, constructions were going on with the Industrial Revolution. So we were getting bridges being formed, a lot of roads and quays and uh, we had new mechanisms of transport with uh, locomotions on land and, and at sea. And also we had the British Empire being involved in, uh, throughout, the, throughout the world and our participation with that uh, through Parliament is all recorded in these very valuable papers of this period. The archive benefits from unprecedented search functionality. The digital texts have been made searchable using optical character recognition processes, so the entire contents of the collections can be searched by word or phrase. Not only are the printed texts, diagrams and tables available as grayscale images, but colour maps and images are available in full colour. These were unexpected treasures, says Julian Ball. Uh, initially, the, the very exciting parts that we discovered within this uh, wealth of collections, which ran to just over a million pages and uh, was drawn from over 1,400 volumes, was that we, we were finding that we were opening these materials for the first time. And so we were finding maps that had never been opened, and so they unfolded into large A0 maps, which were beautifully hand-drawn in colour. And so we were seeing uh, maps of the world, maps of towns, maps of electoral boundaries, maps of railways and roads. And these were very exciting materials to discover. And, and then the, the uh, content itself is, was found to be very exciting because it not only covers uh, local uh, individual material regarding particular people, but it also covers an enormous amount of uh, construction advice, you know, the mechanisms, how you build a ship, uh, designs, designs for the House of Commons for the rebuilds, designs for penitentiaries, how to dig up peat in Ireland, how to distill whiskey in Scotland. All sorts of materials were covered here. The project brings together material from the British Library, the University of Cambridge and the University of Southampton that have been scattered between the three libraries. It is now available for free to UK further and higher education, providing everyone with instant access to a treasure house of historical material. 18th Century Parliamentary Papers is brought to you by JISC, the Joint Information Systems Committee and the University of Southampton.